Hi, welcome to the eCam channel. This is John. In our previous episode, we introduced potentials in electric chemistry. Today, we will build upon these concepts and learn a variety of other potentials. Because of my background, most examples used here will be solid-state electric chemistry. As we introduced in the previous episode, when two phases contact, an interfacial electric field builds up that equalizes the electrochemical potentials in the two phases. When we apply a potential or a current to one phase, we move the electrical potential away from equilibrium. Overpotential is the difference between the electrical potential and the equilibrium potential. More meaningfully, it is the deviation from the equilibrium potential required to cause a given current density to flow through the electrodes. It is demonstrated in the cyclic photograms here comparing a number of catalysts for hydrogen production. And it is clear that platinum requires the smallest overpotential to get a specific current. Overpotential is important because it is omnipresent in electric chemical systems affecting their efficiency. A large overpotential means we use up a lot of potential to get a specific current value. In an energy storage system, overpotential means the system requires more energy to charge and supplies less energy than thermodynamically possible. Take this lithium rich layered oxide for example. When potential is lower than 4.5 volts, the redox of transition metal has a small overpotential and the energy difference between charge and discharge is small. Above 4.5 volts, the ionic redox of oxygen enables significant extra charge storage, but due to the large overpotential, the energy efficiency decreases at the same time. There are three main categories of overpotential available, namely activation overpotential, ohmic overpotential, and concentration overpotential. This is a battery discharge curve under constant current conditions to showcase their presence at different state of charge. Next, we will use this example and others to elaborate on each overpotential. Ohmic overpotential is a deviation of potential due to internal resistance. This internal resistance includes the ionic resistance of the electrolyte and the electronic resistance of the cell components. It has other names like IR drop, where IR stands for internal resistance, ohmic drop, resistance over potential, and other variations where overpotential and polarization are used interchangeably. Ohmic overpotential reveals itself differently in different testing conditions. Under constant current conditions, IR drop happens within first few milliseconds after we draw a current. If the internal resistance is a constant, then IR drop is a constant value. However, often battery active materials change their resistance at different state of charge and therefore ohmic overpotential can affect the cell potential during charge storage. In cyclic photometry, internal resistance affects the current response throughout the experiment because the applied potential is changing constantly. As ohmic's law dictates, at higher applied potential, we will see a greater current contribution due to ohmic overpotential, and with greater internal resistance, there will be a greater current contribution from ohmic overpotential. Here, ohmic overpotential can be quantified simply using Ohm's law. Since internal resistance appears in every electrochemical system, it's always important to optimize the devices to lower ohmic overpotential. Activation overpotential is also named kinetic overpotential or activation polarization. It is the kinetic hindrance of charge transfer reaction at the electrode electrolyte interface. As shown in the graph on the left, activation over potential usually dictates the potential where electrochemical reactions happen. This type of kinetics is best understood with the transition state theory shown on the right. In these treatments, reactions proceed by a route involving an activated complex. The rate limiting step is the dissociation of the activated complex. Activation energy describes the barrier to overcome this step. In the hydrogen production, the use of battle catalysts lowers the activation energy and reduces the activation overpotential. Activation overpotential also includes a subcategory of reaction overpotential, where a slow chemical reaction is coupled to a fast charge transfer step. For example, hydrogen production in weak acids is hindered by the dissociation of the acids. Quantitatively, in some electrochemically irreversible or quasi-reversible cases, activation overpotential may be described by the Tafel equation here. In a future episode, we will elaborate on this equation and the butler volmer equation. Activation overpotential plays an important role in the research of electrocatalysis, fuel cells, and others. Concentration overpotential can also be named mass transfer overpotential or concentration polarization. Battery discharge is a situation where the capacity or state of charge is limited by concentration overpotential at fast charging rates. As you can see, at higher current density, it takes greater potentials to achieve the same state of charge. Because of the voltage window of batteries, some capacities just become inaccessible at higher rates. 
Concentration over potential originates from the limited mass transport capabilities in the system. This mass transport limitation can be in the electrolyte solution for solution-based electrochemistry, or in the solid-state materials for batteries. Concentration over potential has several subcategories. If we assume diffusion-dominated mass transport, then concentration over potential can be called diffusion over potential. In some scenarios, bubbles form on the electrode, depleting the reactants. This is called bubble over potential. Assuming the concentration profile is controlled by diffusion, as shown in the graph on the right, then concentration over potential can be described by this quantitative relationship. If the diffusion space can be considered semi-infinite, one can derive the Randall-Savchik equation from it and get the current proportional to the square root of sweep rate relationship that Shui Han talked about in tutorial 17. Concentration over potential is essential to electroanalytical studies and acts as an important factor for energy losses in batteries, fuel cells, and electrolysis. I hope these explanations help you gain more appreciation of over potentials in electrochemistry. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. The videos in our eCam channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.